Hey guys, Kirk here and thank you for joining me on a new video on my channel. In this video we're going to explore creating a slope blend or slope mask based using normals, like split normals. Uh, it's similar to last week's video where we just created a slope blend. Um, we also introduced a height blend where you could change material layers based off height. Uh, it's always a good technique to have in your arsenal so I'd recommend going watching that video as well. Um, but this one, like I say, is going to be based around normals. Um, prior to this video, I set up a couple of functions. Um, well, I say prior, these are basically my landscape layers for my master material. Uh, but I've got UVs here. Uh, I've got two divides. We're dividing the near and the far UVs from the landscape. And I've got the output. On your landscape layer cards, as you can see in my mapping scale, I have 1009. That is identical to my landscape information here. As you can see, overall resolution is 1009. It's uh, important to match your uh, landscape resolution size in your landscape layer codes. Um, that's the UVs. Uh, from there, I've got uh, layer samples. Basically, this is just two texture samples, uh, both set to shared wrap. Um, and you have your texture coming in here and your UVs near and UVs far. And then they're both blended together based off this lerp and with this distant mask in the alpha. Uh, this is the actual layer. Um, as you can see, this is my distant mask. Um, this basically uh, changes the scale of the uh, texture based on distance. I, I've covered that in a previous video on my more beginner series. If you want to go check that out. This is a different form of mask, a little bit more advanced. I'm not going to show it in this video. I'll show it in a future video, uh, but this is the UVs we've just been looking at, and these are the uh, layer samples where my textures are going in here. Uh, these nodes, you might not recognise them, these are called resample nodes, fairly new to Unreal. Um, they came in as a custom node in 4.27, uh, but now I've been given the all go ahead. Uh, so basically my UVs are going out into these resample nodes. And then they're coming, getting shipped over here behind the scenes, if you like. And the same for my distant mask, which is coming here. Uh, distant sample nodes are very useful. Um, otherwise, you would end up with, uh, let's say, you have these down here. You'd have this here and then just noodles everywhere. Uh, so this is really a good addition uh, to it. Uh, from my ORD texture, uh, breaking out into a float free. Uh, which is going to my ambient occlusion, roughness and world position um, or other words height and then I'm exposing my normal and exposing my height uh, from these pins as well uh, as you can see uh, and then just some basic adjustments for the layer uh, so that's the layer apply that, Let me get rid of this uh, so there you go um, okay so let's create ourselves a landscape material um, yeah, I'm in the right folder. Go right click, go to material, KM, landscape, normal. Uh, great naming convention there. Uh, we've got to right click that material. This is going to be our instance and this is going to be our master. Uh, so we're going to open our master up. The first thing I want to do is change this node into a material attribute node. Right, so by ticking here on the left hand side of the details panel. Uh, if you're not seeing this, then make sure the actual node itself is highlighted and it should pop up. Um, from here, we want to drag our two layers in. Uh, so I'm going to go for my rock layer, which is going to be my slope layer. And back to layers, grass layer. Um, the grass layer is uh, identical to the rock layer that I've just showcased here. Um, the only difference is I've changed the name. That's it. Not of the function, everything else inside as well has been named grass uh, opposed to the rock in the other material uh, we're not going to need that just yet we'll leave that up here and um, so what I want to do I want to like expose the normals out of here which I have done in the layer and then I'm going to use a flatten node uh, flatten normal um, function and this is going to give the ability to uh, change the amount of blending going on between layers uh, we don't need a one minus because we're not using it as a normal uh, so scalar parameter we're going to call this slope blending 
fade. No, let's call it slope blending. Uh, we're going to put that in there. In the scalar parameter, I'm going to give it a default value of five. No, not five. Uh, 0.75 um, that should be a good start off um, and from here now at the minute this normal here is sitting in tangent space and we just basically need to uh, take it out of tangent space and blend it with a vertex uh, normal um, I think that's how it does it I'm not sure but uh, Unreal have their own uh, function for this Uh, should we call this tangent? No. There you go. Transform normals tangent to vertex. Um, what this is doing is just basically going to get input here, and we just blend it with this bit of uh, logic right there, which is the vertex normal. And then we're going to pass through a matrix. I'm not 100% what this does. If you know what it does, then uh, leave a comment in uh, below the video. Or tell me in Discord. Uh, I'd like to know. I'm not going to save that. Uh, so basically, we're going to pass the normal into the vector to transform, and now it's going to come out of vertex. And from here, how should we do this? We'll use a blend angle correct. No, um, we'll use blend world um, blend. What should we use? No, let's world a world a line blend. A line blend. We'll do it with this. Um, this will allow our vertex normal to be blended with the explit normal. Um, so in future, it's a good way to do it uh, because in future you could duplicate this as well. And when we use it for uh, height field mesh, we can blend these together and get the height from each normal as well. Um, Bit, uh, quite a bit advanced for this video um, but just an idea for the future uh, so we're going to put this into our split normals um, we need to make some changes actually in here we need to yeah so we need to basically blend uh, our split normals with our vertex normal um, but I'm not going to do it in this basically this function is um, an Unreal Engine function. If I make changes into this, it'll just carry down into every single material that is using this function. Uh, so I'm just going to find it, and there it is. I'm going to drag it into my master material folder and put copy here, not move, copy, and then just delete that one. Uh, we're going to go to where we copied our World Line Blend. We're going to click it, F2, and rename it. I'm just going to simply put my naming convention in front of it. Um, and this one we are now free to change because it won't affect the other function. Uh, they're exactly the same. Um, as you can see, it's an entire mess in here, but it works. I could spend the next uh, five minutes tidying this up, but I don't think that's a good idea. Not during the tutorial. Um, get carried away. Stop it. Stop right. Okay. Um, so we need to blend the input of our explit normals with this vertex and to do that we can use another Unreal Engine function called blend oh, angle corrected normals and we want to put our explit normals into our base normal and our vertex normal into our additional normal and just put the result into this dot product here and then let the rest of the mess do its work so we're just going to apply and save that and changes have been made now and we can put this into our split normal so as it stands now this is our material layer we've got another material layer here and this is our uh, slope mask with uh, normal blending and we just need to blend these two layers together and for that I'm going to use uh, blend material attributes this one seems a good fit we'll put our split normals in the alpha and our grass will go in the B I'll do this and our rock layer will go in the A our material attribute no let's use the vertex normal that's what we was aiming for put the vertex normal in there 
Okay, let's just apply this and save it. Okay, um, we need to drag our material instance onto the landscape material slot, which is here. And our material, material normals, this is our instant. We drag it in there. Let's see what happens here now. Oh God, what a mess. Oh, what a mess. And this is our UVs. Let's have an open of our instance. There we go. Right, as you can see, this is slightly organized. Um, this is to do with a master material that I'm creating. Some material layers we're using in this tutorial. Um, it will be available to purchase on uh, the Unreal Marketplace soon-ish. I'm in no rush to do it, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, we need to change the UVs. Yeah, so we've got near. I do know of an error here. The near is the far and the far is the near for both layers. I do need to change that at some point. So if I hit a one there, two, five, we'll go two, 0 0.2, uh, five, it's all right. Uh, for the far, we'll put 0 0.02, 0 0.01, that'll do for now. Um, with the rock, we're going to put three in the far, and we'll probably put 0 0.02, there you go. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, our normals are blending together very well ish. Not great, is it? Um, ah, ah, I made a mistake, guys. I've not given the parameters it. Oh, this is a mistake of mine. Um, just gonna hold this down twice. Uh, we're gonna call this slope bias and we're going to call this slope sharpness yes. oh my god sorry about that guys um but let's uh anyway come on move past it enough uh so we've got 0.75 for the sharpness uh, shall we have a 23 uh, for the bias the bias needs to be negative because it's the top end of the slope blend uh, so we're going to do a negative 20 like so I'm going to click apply let it do its thing it's going to be let it do its thing it's going to be compiling shaders ah much better Yes, much, much better. Um, some weird artifacts are going on. There is, that's not artifacts, that's the normals blending. Let's have a look at these parameters. Mm, short slope sharpness 30. There you go. My slope sharpness was too high. Um, as it stands there, that's quite decent. Let's lower that down a bit, actually. What about this blended? As you can see, it's moving down the blend. What my normal set on, on these? Oh, let's move these both to one. We'll get more accurate reading from our blended. That seems about right. There you go. And you could change these parameters as much as you want um yeah so i'm not going to start playing with them but this is basically creating two materials on a slope uh, using normals to blend uh, which to me look really good i mean you could increase the normals to give it a more of an effect three five ten no uh, zero point one. Oh oh yeah you can tell the difference there can't you one uh zero no normal and one two it's a bit better they look a bit more like they've got a bit of life to them um, 
What about the gnarls on the rock? So we've got two on the grass. Let's go zero. Oh yeah, you can tell a massive difference there, can't you? That's how you create good normal maps. Uh, let's go 1.5. A bit more darker. Normals, and you can always come to the rock. Um, where are you? Rock. Rock options. Hello. That's the distance mask. Rock options. Well, they don't all the four, aren't they? No, we could just increase the brightness, maybe 1.2. The rock. And the desaturation is minus 002. 0 0.002. There you go. Them normals are too high on that rock. Uh, 0.5. 1. 0.8. Uh, yeah, so that's basically how you create the mask to go with your uh, normal slope blend. Uh, it's quite a good technique. Uh, to keep um, you could simply get this uh, and put it in its own function and you would just need to give an input and an output I'd also recommend using the explit normals as well let's see what happens if I do that apply it might not work because I've blended them too no it's not worked okay so we'll put that back to vertex for now I may look into that for another video uh, but yeah, so that's simply your mask and you're blending these two layers together. Um, if you want to add more paint layers, you could simply go landscape, layer, oh, uh, get a layer blend. Um, throw as many paint layers on as you want. And put your grass into the layer and then put that into the blend. And this will be the same thing, but you're just adding paint layers to it where you can actually paint on to the landscape and they would blend together based off the normals as well it's that simple so get a layer blend put it in where the grass would be and you're, you're, you're home free there good good little trick uh, so yeah that's it for this video uh, i hope you found it informative i hope it weren't too long i do get sidetracked sometimes as you guys who have been here a long while already know um but yeah make sure you uh take this into account and use it more as you can see it's a nice little blend that, that is a nice little landscape the landscape's actually out of Gaia, made it in Gaia um, I'm only using it for free at the minute, I've just tested it I'm, I'm, I'm used to World Machine um, but I'm going to test Gaia because it's got a lot of raving reviews and I'm just using, exploring the masks like Slope Mask and Flow Mask at the minute as you can see I'm getting massively sidetracked here guys I know uh, landscape main, textures as you can see I've got my RBX mix uh, for the for masking uh, but that's for another video um, if you enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button and hit the like and um, I'll look forward to you in the next video uh, bye